Welcome, welcome, welcome to Jermaine Unnatural. I am Jermaine Right. So I'm doing a video today and um, let's see if I can get you all to guess the brand that the video is going to be about. Is it good? Did you, is it, should I just? I am finally reviewing some Pattern Beauty products that I bought last year. So if you follow me on Instagram, Jermaine on that Chirol, follow me there. I just ordered a whole bunch of black things from, <laughs> from some black brands and like I did a whole little video with Solange and the whole black owned thing and Pattern Beauty was one of the brands that I ordered from. What I'm going to be using for the first time, it is the Pattern Beauty Styling Cream. I only have two products, this and I have the Strong Coat Gel. So I know that with Pattern initially, a lot of the things, things that they came out with had silicones in them. And then when they came out with styling products, the styling products didn't. I do know that they do have a few more wash day things. I think the, sh the newer shampoo doesn't have silicone in it, but I am going to use a different leave-in with this. Other than this, not layering anything else on it, just the cream itself. Now with this product, as I said, it doesn't have any sulfates, silicones, parabens, SLSs, formaldehyde, silicone free, and it is also color safe and they are cruelty free. Oh, and the little jars can be recycled too, which I personally do appreciate as I am a little bit of a tree hugger. Now, since the ingredients are curly girl friendly, I will catch you in the shower. Oh, and um, the, <laughs> this, um, I did do a review on the pick also. It's not just your everyday pick, it is, it's a pattern pick. <laughs> But of course, any pop-up videos that happen above will always be down below so that after this video, you can go ahead and check that one out. All right, so let me go ahead and go through my wash day and we'll talk about what it said, what it did, and if there's anything that I need from it. My black and yellow, black and yellow. Hey, it me. All right, shampooed, deep condition, leave-in conditioner is applied. Here is still wet, so, <laughs> <ugh>. <laughs> So now let's go ahead and with the Pattern Beauty Styling Cream. It says to apply this on wet or dry hair as you style or braid. Pro tip. And then there's a pro tip for protective styles. And then there's an extra, extra pro tip if you have locks. Let's crack it open and um, see how it looks. So from here, just a standard white cream. This jar feel a little heavy. It's three ounces. This feel a little heavy for um, mm, mm, the smell. To me, it smells like dishwashing detergent with the undertone of lilies. <laughs> a liquid dish dishwashing detergent that is scented in something floral like field lilies or <laughs> something like that. Okay. So that is Heck. what's in here? Water and shea butter. If I were going to compare this to a lotion, dry skin easily because it is thick but it is moving fairly easily just swishing it around let's just add it and see what happens just a tad bit i don't really want to go too heavy and i am going to be doing a wash and go so Okay, so here's the first area. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have any expectations. Um, I will say that my hair is not the absolute most frizz free at all. Sorry, I'm looking in the mirror. I don't know, no expectations. I am just gonna apply it. Uh, not a whole lot per section. Working in really, really well. And um, I'll come back so we can see what it looks like.
This is how it feel. This is what it's gonna be. It is what it is. That looks a little bit better as to what it's gonna be. There we go, just, just this little part here. Okay, so 360 up. I am gonna diffuse, wrap it, come back tomorrow quick pop in tomorrow then i'll come back a little bit later in the week and we'll talk about what it said what it did and if there's anything that i need from it hey it's me all right so i'm coming back to you the next day yesterday was sunday today is monday to show you what day one hair looks like with the pattern beauty styling cream so let's give you a 360 and i'll move you in a little bit closer a little bit a little bit. I'm all over the place <laughs> in this chair, trying to turn around in a circle. Not bad, not bad at all precious. Definitely a lot more to find than what I thought it was gonna be based of how it looked once I applied it, but this is what we have, so tonight I'm going to put on my bonnet, go to sleep, and I'll come back in another couple of days and show you what day three hair looks like, and then we'll close it out with what it said, what it did, and if there's anything that I need from it. Hey, it me. All right, it is now, what, three, four days later, depending on how you count it. We're gonna talk about what it said, what it did, and if there is anything that I need from it, per the site. It says that this butter, this thick buttercream is gonna provide superior moisture penetration and that the ideal oil rich, touchable hold when setting styles like twist outs, braid outs, bantu knots, and wash and goes. It also says that the shea butter, cacao oil, and sweet almond oil are gonna promote hair retention while preventing breakage and damage and that the curls and styles stay defined in all of the versatile ways that our hair can be. Let's do a 360. Mm -hmm. The head, the back, the back, back middle, to the side, and back to the front. So what I will say, I don't think I need anything from the styling cream. To me, it did everything that it said that it was going to do. Uh, let's see, I've got, if you can see the shine there, I've got great moisture that's still here that is definitely gonna last me to the end of the week. Editing me, I did also wanna add that even though shea butter is a second ingredient, it's not thick, heavy, or weighs your hair down once you apply it. It is a soft hold, soft, yeah, I wouldn't even say medium. It's a soft hold. Period. So expect for there to be frizz. Initially, day one frizz. He likes frizzy hair and a tight frame. And then there's just gonna be frizz as the weeks goes on and on. What I do like about it is that it definitely captures the natural, your natural curl pattern a lot more than when I did the Sienna Naturals um, wash day. I had a lot more frizz with that just because it was a leave-in and just an oil. This gave me like two steps more curl definition. It's a nice medium between frizzy natural curl pattern and super, super defined gel. So a lot more of a natural but more defined look to me. That's how it worked on my hair. I really, really liked it. Now, <laughs> remember I was talking about the smell initially and how I was like, it smells like a, a floral, what, what did I say? Like a, a liquid dish detergent, like summer <laughs> a field of lilies. Tuesday night, I'm in the kitchen. I'm washing a couple of dishes, washing the sink down. And I was like, I know the smell. <laughs> This, this is what the styling cream smells like to me, a bit. But it smells like the palm olive pure and clear. Personally, I love the smell of that. It's a little bit more subtle than the styling cream, but it has that fresh kind of floral scent to it. Like I said, a field 
of lilies, but <laughs> that's how it smells to me. I can't smell it now, but the open in the jar, that initial application, it's good. I liked it. It's curly girl friendly. It did all the things that it said that it was gonna do. I would just not expect hold from this. I don't mind the frizz with like, you know, my natural curl pattern like popping out here and there. Like, I liked it. All right, comment down below. Let me know if you have used the Pattern Beauty Styling Cream, how well it worked for you. Did it do all the things for you that it said it was gonna do? Make sure you hit the like button. Punch subscribe because it's right there. Feel free to share this out. As I was actually, I actually could not find any videos with just the styling cream and I searched. Unless I overlooked it, but none with just this cream. So share it out. Someone may just want to try the cream itself. Punch the notification bell so that you can stay pressed of when I post my videos. And again, thank you for tuning in to Jermaine All Natural. I'll see you in the next one.